Welcome to the first project of this course. We're going to be creating an inspirational quote graphic. You've probably seen these graphics all over social media and it's a great way to increase your likes and engagement for your own social media channels. So right now, open up Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, download the free trial that adobe.com gives us. You can go to adobe.com, go to the Photoshop page and download a free seven day trial to check it out and you can play around with it while you're taking this course. So open up Photoshop and I'm gonna dive into my computer and we'll get going with this project. The first thing you need to do is open up Photoshop. So just go to your applications, whether you're using Mac or a PC and open up Photoshop. Now I'm using Creative Cloud version of Photoshop, the latest version, but if you're using a previous version, that's okay because all of the tools and techniques we're going to teach you in this course are the same even if you're using an older version. The other thing you can do is download the project file for this project. In the supplemental resources of this lesson, you can download the image that we use and the Photoshop project file that we actually have created for this project. This is what we're going to actually be creating. So I'm going to walk you through the first part of it. So go ahead and open up Photoshop. And if you're opening up Photoshop for the first time, you won't have this list of previous projects that we've created. You will want to just create something new. If you're creating something new, then you this window pops up with the options for creating a new project. So you can title the project, you can give it a name, I'll just call this inspirational quote. Then there are different custom settings or projects that they have that you can use. So you can click this document type and you can use just default US paper size, photo sizes, different sizes for film or video. I usually just create a custom size. Beneath that is where we create the width and the height of our project. On the right, you have the option of doing it in pixels, inches, centimeters, millimeters, all sorts of different options. I typically use pixels because when we're creating graphics for the web, most web sites have requirements for graphic sizes in pixels. So for example, today we're creating a blog graphic for social media. And with Instagram posts, they recommend at this current time a size of 1080 pixels, so 1080 pixels tall by 1080 pixels wide. So we're going to set that number right here in the width and the height. In terms of resolution, usually with blog graphics for websites, 72 is good. You can go up to 150 if you want a little bit more detailed. It's going to be a little bit sharper when you blow it up. With things that you're printing out, you can even go higher, but I would say 72 is perfect for this project. The rest of these, just make sure that it's in RGB color mode. 8-bit is good. Background is white. That's fine. And then click OK. Photoshop is going to open with your project right here in the middle. On the left-hand side are our tools. And then on the right hand side are some more windows that we will learn more about in future projects and in this project. We're just going to get going and dive right into this project though and some of these things might be a little bit confusing and if you have questions you can let us know but we'll explain everything that we're doing for these projects and you'll learn along the way. Some of these other panel windows like the layer panel, the character and paragraph panel, these things we'll learn in future lessons. So now we have our project open. The next thing we have to do is choose what quote we're going to use and find an image for that quote. If you go online to Google, what you can do is search for inspirational quotes if you don't have one in mind. Brainyquote.com is a great website for finding quotes. So if you search for inspirational quotes, that first link goes to a group of inspirational quotes that is on Brainy Quote. And the one that we're going to use today is this one by Warren Buffett. He says, someone is sitting in the shade today because someone planted a tree a long time ago. So I think this has to do with investments and the fact that investments take a long time to see the rewards. And maybe you don't even see the rewards, but someone in the future will see the rewards of 
the investments you make today. With these inspirational quotes, you do have to verify them. Sometimes Brainy quote, the quotes aren't actually true. So make sure that you verify them if you're actually creating an inspirational quote graphic and you're going to be posting it online. So now we have our text. We just have to find an image. Now, when you're creating an inspirational quote graphic, I think it's good to find an image that matches with what the quote is about. You see these inspirational quotes and all of them have these beautiful skies and plants and things like that. And that's really good. They're pretty, but I think it's better to find images that actually match with what the quote is about. So for this quote, he's talking about a tree. So we're going to find an image of a tree. Pixabay.com is a great website for getting free high quality images that you can use for your own graphics. So that's P-I-X-A-Bay.com. Go there, you can sign up for a free account and I'm just going to search for tree. When I'm searching for photos for these inspirational quote graphics, I typically want to find an image that has enough negative space, enough room in the photo for the text. If the photo is too busy, see this one right here, it's a nice beautiful tree, but the leaves are too detailed, there's too much contrast, too many shapes going on that putting text over this won't look so great. So I'm just trying to find an image where the tree stands out. So this is one where the tree stands out, but this tree doesn't seem like it has a lot of shade in there. So I'm looking for something that really matches what this quote is actually about, a tree, something that provides shade, something with negative space, something like this I think will work. And because these images are very high quality, they have a high resolution, we'll be able to actually blow this up. And so we can actually zoom in on this tree. And so it's not going to look as small in our graphic. So to download from pixabay.com, just sign up for an account, click free download. And I usually just choose to download the original size. So when you do that, you can just click view or download. If you want, what you can do is actually drag and drop this right onto your Photoshop project. You could right click and save it onto your desktop or into a folder, or you can just use the photo that is in the project files for this lesson that we already gave you. Or if you're finding graphics of your own or images of your own, just drag and drop it right into Photoshop. So now we have our photo in Photoshop. Now that we have the project set up and ready to go, I'm going to pass it over to Jeremy. So Jeremy, here you go. Everyone, you're going to watch Jeremy and he's going to teach you how to add text, customize the text and move around the image and make sure it looks amazing. Here you go.